Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to share with you some modifications I've made to this casting flask. Um, these modifications are based upon some viewer comments. So if you left a comment, thank you very much. Hey guys, um, I've been doing some casting videos recently and uh, I've got some feedback from... I'm going to butcher this name. Tomoko's Enterprise. He uh, watches my videos, every single video, and he comments. He's a great viewer. And so I'm going to do this quick video of, uh, this is my metal casting flask. Um, if you watch uh, a video about an introduction to Petrobon at the end, I kind of uh, talk about the flask with the alignment pins. Uh, so uh, a couple recommendations I've got. One was on the flask is that I need to come up with a, a method to clamp these together. And so I was at the hardware store and I just ran across these little clips here. So I want to attach these clips. Um, so when you pour metal in, uh, sometimes it expand and it will, from what I understand, is it will expand a little bit and you'll get uh, a flash uh, because uh, the metal will work itself into the separation. So, and then another recommendation that I got from a viewer was is that they said something about ribs on the um, um, on the flask to to hold the uh, casting sand in. So in this video, I'm going to uh, do both of those modifications. So I'm just going to start by um, I've got this band steel here, um, and I'm just going to start by marking this steel for the dimensions that I need. So I'll go ahead and cut that, and uh, then I'll get the other videos. Ones. I'm actually doing this stuff real time. I don't always test everything, um, and they don't always turn out great. So it's kind of fun to see how they do, how they turn out. Okay, here's my mark here, um, but I'm going to cut these at 45. First piece cut, and I'm going to go ahead and use this as a template for my second piece. So what's happening is these corners are banging into the welds. So uh, go back to the grinder and kind of test for them a little bit. Okay, more. so I have these corners ground down a little bit. Let's see if I can show you that. So it fits in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, weld these two before I cut the. Uh, these sides a little here. bit of alignment issues I've got some curvatures here so I'm gonna start by just tacking this side down getting it straight and then I'll put it in a vise and compress this to straighten that out and then weld it anybody want to be my camera operator I could definitely use one Okay, so now I have this lined up and I've got the vise compressed in it, so there's not a line. So I'll go ahead and put another tack here, and then I'll pull it out and make sure it's straight. The tack weld, and there's a tack weld, and I kind of went over it. So I'll pull it out of the vise, make sure it's straight, bend it straight, and then I'll... I'm not going to weld the whole thing, but I'll okay, put some Okay, the things tacks. to do, welding, camera operating, setting up jigs, that's pretty rough, so you're not going to get a whole lot of video on it. Uh, but as you can see, I've got that one tacked in there, good, and i got two tack joints on this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tack it all the way across, then I'll take it over and uh, cut these pieces. So I've got that piece sitting in there now, and i got a lot of gap, 
So I think I'm going to recut it. We've got the welding done here. Take a look. Yeah. I had a lot of fun welding these edges. I'm not a really good welder. I mean, I haven't really done that much of it. So kind of this is just practicing and goofing off. There's the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and wire wheel this out now. change the locations of these pins. Okay. There we go. And so the next step is to go ahead and put the uh, clasps on here. And Maybe something like that. Uh, right there. And here. So, whoop. so I have this clamped, and um, and it's on that line between the whole the line. You can't see it, but the line's right there. Okay, it's a little bit off. Okay, now it's on. Okay, that one's welded. I'm going to go ahead and put a weld over on this side too, and I'll flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so I got the second clasp welded on. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. fine, delicate parts. I'm going to put these two sides together again. Whoops! Hot. Okay. something like that. I just took this and I'm just kind of marking those holes right there. Now if I need a little bit more taunt I can tighten that buckle up. Okay, needs to go right about there. So here we go. We get that set up and clamped. We're going to go okay, ahead and weld it. It's not a great weld uh, but I cleaned it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get the other one done then I'll come back and do some more grinding. Okay, so just to recap, um, I put this lip here uh, to uh, hold the Petrobond in when, uh, when you're moving this around. Uh, I, I think it was suggested a rib, but whatever, that's kind of what I envisioned. Um, and then the other modification was uh, adding these locking straps to, to keep the uh, clasp together. So, so we use the alignment pins, we press it down. Then we clasp here, and then over here.
So there is the updated casting flask. I want to thank the viewers for making recommendations and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd like, comment, subscribe, click the notify bell to be notified of when, a, when I post new videos.